Hello, my name is John Bagley, and this is my presentation for the internal marketing report for Game Universe. Game Universe is a company located in southeastern Wisconsin. They currently have two locations, one in Brookfield, Wisconsin, and one in Franklin, Wisconsin. The company specializes in the sale of board games, card games, RPGs, and miniatures, and have been in business for over 12 years. About a month ago, the original founder and owner, James Nathay, sold the company to its current owner, Andy Will. This is Game Universe's website. It uh, looks good and looks like it was uh, professionally made. It includes a navigation bar at the top for easy navigation of the site. It also includes a news category section over here at the side that has some popular news uh, categories that you can search through and look, uh, click on to uh, filter depending on what you're looking for in the site. Um, they have a regular events section that is scheduled for each store on the front page. These are the regular events that happen each week. And they also uh, include below that uh, a running blog of uh, events that are happening and if there are ever any sales or deals that are going on. Uh, on the side here they include the hours that the stores are open as well as um, addresses and phone numbers for each of the two stores. While going through Game Universe's website, the biggest thing that stuck out to me was the lack of an end goal within the website. Currently it is used to inform users, but it really doesn't have any goals outside of getting users into the physical stores. It doesn't uh, have any kind of marketing funnel, no place to try and get users to eventually get to in the website. Um, one idea that I had that I, I've already spoken with uh, the owner, Andy Rowe, and he seemed to be uh, interested in was the use of automated email signups. Since Game Universe does already use an email mailing list, and the percentage of their new users are 76.4%. So setting up something like MailChimp, which is an automated email service, could be an easy way for them to implement this to their website without a lot of hassle or a lot of extra work. A phone number search for uh, Game Universe's Franklin, Wisconsin location sometimes mistakenly brings up addresses in Greenfield, Wisconsin. This is because the Franklin location was originally located in Greenfield, Wisconsin. And these addresses are left over from before that move happened. So currently uh, an important thing that Game Universe should be looking to do would be to fix that up. Something else left over from that as well is that the URL for the Franklin Store's About page on Game Universe's website currently mistakenly has the word Greenfield in the URL instead of Franklin. So that's another thing left over, another thing that should be changed in order to decrease confusion and uh, look a little bit more professional so that users can build up more trust. Within Game Universe's website, there were a few issues noticed on some of the pages that I looked at. On both the Brookfield and Franklin weekly events pages, they include nice uh, calendars and mention that you can leave a comment below but there is no place for any comments. I wonder if this is uh, something that was implemented in the past that has been since removed or has been something that they were thinking about adding but they currently don't but it is uh, misleading currently and probably should be modified. If we also look at the about pages, the Franklin store looks very good and I like the nicely lit clear pictures that they show on this page. But on the Brookfield store it does not include those same nicely lit and clear pictures. The pictures sort of look a little dark and should probably be either retaken or updated to reflect the current state of the inside of the store. These are also a little outdated. The layout is not exactly the same as it used to be. 
Also, I noticed that they have this store map that was not included on the Franklin store anywhere, and it leads to a broken link in Wales, Wisconsin, which is nowhere near where the store actually is. So, they should probably get rid of this, since they do already have links to Google Maps and their location on Google Maps on the page already. The title tags and meta descriptions for Game Universe's web pages could use some updating. All three of these screenshots have been taken from Google searches for each of those their specific pages. Um, the first one is from the main homepage for Game Universe. Um, as you can see, the title tag has been cut off in the Google search, and also the meta description tag incorrectly labels Arizona USA as the location of the stores and also that you can order online which is also untrue because there is no online ordering on any of Game Universe's web pages. In, the about, in both of the about pages for each of the two stores the meta descriptions get cut off at the end and that should be updated to better reflect what those pages are about. Um, the same is true for the both of the weekly events pages for each of the stores, they both get cut off at the end. But with these, uh, the title tags also could use some work because they either say Brookfield Dash Game Universe or Franklin Dash Game Universe, and they don't really give you any more information about what those are about. It doesn't really tell you much of anything. The last thing that I wanted to look at was paid keywords. Currently, neither Game Universe or its competitors are using any kind of paid keywords. And that means that the battleground for paid searches is wide open, and whoever jumps on the bandwagon first is probably going to have the greatest advantage. Uh, Game Universe's owner is already interested, and they could either start by targeting their competitors if they want to and show up when people search for their competitors, or they could just uh, target popular uh, search queries uh, for them already, such as board games, card games, and dice, to try and show up um, for people who are just making general searches and try and just drum up uh, more new users to their stores. Um, a good example of an ad is at the top of this slide, and I think this is a great opportunity for Game Universe. I learned some important things over the course of this semester, and especially over the course of working through this project. One of the biggest and most important things that I learned is that every single piece of information in your website related to your web presence can be searched for, especially uh, when we were looking working through this project. We were looking at, at, at physical addresses for the physical stores and phone numbers of the physical stores. And those are things that I think a lot of people don't think about when you're uh, you're looking through your own web presence and making sure that those things are accurate and up to date are both very very important in making your website look professional and also making it look like you keep a constant web presence and it's not just there so that you have a website. Um, and especially another second, my second point is that uh, the importance of looking professional to your viewers is incredibly high because there are so many websites out there these days and people only have a limited amount of time. So if we're looking to capture your, your potential customer's attention and hold it, we have to make sure that our website both looks professional and is easy to use. The last major point that I wanted to talk about that I learned through this semester is the importance of having an end goal and uh, creating a marketing funnel for your website so that you don't just have a website to have a website, but you have a website so that you can um, create a goal for yourself and eventually use that website as a tool to increase both traffic either in this case within the store and then eventually hopefully increase sales 
which in the end is the main goal of any web presence.